So, yet again, uh, time for uh, another uh, salmon fly. But today we're going wild and crazy and doing a tube fly. And I think you're gonna start with the usual. Uh, so this video is gonna be all about tying that tube fly. So let's start. So, time to tie this bad boy. First of all, uh, fluorofiber. I use that as a tail. So let me just pick out the, the section here. I don't need that much. So, there we are. I tie it in with a few wraps with the thread, then folding it backwards over the thread and then tie it in again just to make sure it's uh, gonna stay there for a long time. So here we are, doesn't look that uh, beautiful but I will just cut it. There we are, and cleaning up a bit, now it look much better, I would say, I'm just gonna cut a bit more, there we are, nice tail. Then I'm just going to start to add some dubbing to the body. So let's continue. Just adding this dubbing to the body. is quite a lot. So. There we are. I don't really need to brush it out. It's already all over the place. So it's cleaning all the fibers. So uh, I'm gonna add a yellow hacker. So on tube flies, I don't I use soft tackle or hen. Uh, not as the classic salmon flies so where I only use. Uh, Hackle. So. Let's tie that one in. A few tight wraps with the thread. I vexed uh, the thread as well.
same. Same as normal, just folding the feathers or the fibers backwards. again there we are just securing the stem with the thread a few wraps Then just cut the leftover. I don't want to cut the fibers there. There we go. And then I just tie it in. So now to the wing. Uh, polar bear. And the thing here, less is more. So just taking out the shorter fibers. And I'm gonna have two sections of the yellow. One short. And I just press a little uh, to spread the fibers out. So, just gonna cut that one. interesting uh, I'm filming with an uh, iPhone and I notice when I put my hands there it's uh, changing do it's doing something ah, not now anyhow so second wing yellow slightly longer get the short wing there so next step orange same here I go with the polar bear so that's what I got I might order some foxtail different colors just for this purpose Flatten it. Uh, 
few wraps securing it. There we go. So I'm just gonna take this one and cut that one off. And tube flies do fish very very well if you haven't tried it uh, in a uh, running water rivers it's just uh, perfect so next step I'm gonna add some crystal flash I like uh, the crystal flash I always use it uh, I think this one is UV or something few thread turns with the thread then it's secure just cutting that one and I'm gonna find another one and I, I double them and make one strand longer than the other so two different lengths so I'm just tying that one in and then just cut the leftovers there we go and then front tackle Take that one. So Kingfisher Blue. So before I add that one, I need uh, to wax the thread, otherwise it's just going away. I have a fiber there, and the yellow. Okay, so time to attach the front tack in. Securing it quite well since uh, it's proper fishing flies. So, time to add a hackle, just folding the fibers backwards. Almost there, and there we are. Then it's time for the wing. It's gonna secure it. And the 
serving are gonna use uh, brown and this is uh, foxtail and same here less is more don't overdo it and fox you always have some rule that you can pull out to do that and get the nicer shape of the wing. So all that I'm gonna use. So tying this one in. Same here, I spread it out. A few wraps. Just going it properly. And I varnish the head with the normal varnish as I do with the classic salmon flies. So, uh, no glues or nothing. So, oh, let me then just remove everything here in the front. And then we're just gonna add the last step. And the good thing with these uh, tubes is that uh, when I varnish the head and everything is good and dry, I just take the tube out and then just chop, up, chop off the front with a sharp razor blade or something. So, time for Yeezy. Oh, I'm, I'm having the best wife ever. Special delivery. Blue Seal. Uh, it's, it's Swedish candy, it's just fantastic. So, uh, today it's Christmas. Oh, I need to have one, come on. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. <coughs> Let's look at this one. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. So, back to the fly. And I don't use my best EC on the tube flies. So I just take, you know, whatever. Lower quality, but still, still okay. There I have two that I can use. So, just uh, remove the soft part here. Eh? There we go. Then I just do that on my side as well. And 
There we go. So, the usual. I'm just gonna cut the stem of the yeast here. There we are. Mmm, varnish. I'm gonna do a few coatings first with the clear, then I do it with black, and when I'm satisfied, I just take the tube out. And uh, cut the front off, then everything is ready. Securing the thread there. There we go. So, quick uh, tube. You can even tie them in hand, you know, if you're out traveling and don't have the device with you. No problem at all. I'm gonna take a picture when it's ready, when I uh, done the head accordingly. So, that's how you tie the unusual, uh, uh, usual, sorry, <laughs> not the unusual. So, uh, I hope you like the video and uh, I'm gonna do a few more uh, tube fly uh, videos uh, tying uh, a few patterns that uh, works very well here and uh, yeah, I hope you're uh, gonna watch them as well. So, uh, that's it for today. Uh, see you in the next video and have a nice weekend. Bye.